Hi everyone, Paul here with Huddle Cam HD, and you may know we have our fourth generation of our super popular serial PTZ joystick. This is the HC Joy G4, which stands for our fourth generation. And today I want to give you a sneak peek of this. I want to show you how to control multiple PTZ cameras with a single joystick controller. This joystick has been improved significantly. We've got the ability to quickly switch to up to seven cameras. They're very easy to daisy chain, and this is the most affordable PTZ joystick that we offer. It's only $299 in the US. It's very simple serial connection. So let's look at all of this in this video. So the great thing about serial PTZ camera control is it's supported from a lot of different cameras. We'll show a PTZ optics camera today, but it also works with uh, Huddle Cam HD cameras as well. Uh, what you'll notice, this is the brand new Simple Track 3. This is our auto tracking camera. And you'll notice on the back of this camera that it has a serial RS-232 in and out port. So what you can do is you can plug the joystick controller into the in port and then daisy chain the control to a second, third, and fourth camera using those in and out ports. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Let's take a peek at the joystick itself. So this is what's called a DB9 connection. And the DB9 connection looks like this. It's included with your joystick controller. And essentially you can just plug it right in there and plug the other side, which is an eight pin mini DIN connector. You can plug that side into your PTZ camera. So let's go ahead and do that to control our first camera. Now, I will plug this joystick into power, and what you'll notice when you plug it in is it's got a nice little lit up screen there, and it immediately turns on. It's super fast, right? Pan, tilt, zoom, you have your on screen display there. There's some setup options for locking focus and unlocking focus. We've really at, put everything our customers want here, including getting into that on screen display menu. Setting and calling presets is very easy, so you can set up. And you'll notice we put really easy to read white buttons on a black metal case. So this is a very durable product that has had a lot of engineering thought put into it so that it performs well for your productions. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this 8-pin mini DIN connector into the back of a PTZ camera here. And by default, most PTZ cameras, this is a PTZ Optics Move 4K camera, by default, most PTZ cameras are set up for Visca Serial Port 1. And, and generally, it's at 9600 baud rate. And so that's just by default, it's just going to work. You plug it in, and your PTZ joystick is just going to work. Now, that's a good thing, but when we start the second camera of this chain, the second camera will have to have Visca Address 2. The third camera will have to have Visca address three. So let's take a look at adding a second camera to this joystick controller. All right, now when we are setting up a multi-camera joystick controller situation, there's two cables that you're probably gonna want. One is a DB9 extender, and these are available on our website. And DB9 extenders extend that DB9 connection from the joystick to the DB9 cable. So your if your joystick is far away from your PTZ camera, you can get DB9 on our website up to 100 feet. So this is the first cable you'll probably need because the cable that's included with the joystick is really only about six or eight feet long. So if, if your joystick is close to the camera, you can use this. Otherwise, you'll probably need a DB9 extender. Now, you'll notice that when you're daisy chaining one camera to the next, you'll probably need an eight pin mini DIN connector that's 8-pin mini DIN on both sides. This is called a cascade cable. So what I'm going to do is I already have the 8-pin mini DIN connected to the first camera. So what I'm going to do is take the 8-pin mini DIN cascade cable and connect that to the out port. Okay, so it can pass through that serial data through the in and out port. And then we'll go into the second camera. But before we do that, I want to show you how to set the Visca address to address two so this all works properly. All right, so on the on-screen display menu, there is a communication setup area 
that we can go into to set up the cameras protocol. So you can see it's set up for Visca, and I've got it set up to Visca address two. And so essentially, camera one in your daisy chain should be address one, camera two should be address two, and camera three should be address three, etc. That is how you just kind of verify that everything's set up with the correct baud rate, the serial settings, and the address so that the second camera in the chain will respond properly when you go to camera two. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the output of the first camera into the input of the second camera to start this daisy chain. So let's go ahead and plug that in. There we go. And I'll twist this around the way it should be. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to camera two on my joystick controller here. And so camera one is right here. So I've got control of camera one. It's moving nicely, right? Now let's go to camera two over here. And we've got control of camera two. So that's the way that serial control works for PTZ cameras using the brand new Huddle Cam HD HC Joy G4. This is a super affordable joystick if you need just one or two joysticks, you know, to kind of spread things out and have multiple camera operators. This might be the most affordable way to have high quality, low latency PTZ camera control with a hardware joystick. Let us know in the comments below how you're going to use this joystick, and we'll see you in the next video.